Hello, Hello spaceship, spaceship captains. captains! We just came back from Gamescom. Uh, we had an amazing week. Yeah. This was basically the first appearance for us uh, with Space Scavenger, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, so we showed our game as uh, part of the Sweden Game Arena booth, so we were one of many indies there. So big thanks to them for everything. They organized it really, really well. So much fun seeing new players uh, play the game for the first time, and we got a lot of valuable feedback. Uh, met a lot of cool people, talked to them. It was a lot of fun. And uh, some people even said they liked the game, so you know. That's good. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seriously though, like, thanks to everyone who was there playing it. It was a lot of fun, a lot of great feedback, and we were already starting to work on it. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, in preparation for Gamescom, uh, we did a lot of artwork uh, for the booth. Uh, we also made a game logo. Yeah. As you see here. Yeah. We also made some stickers as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're good. <laughs> we also worked as hard as we could to polish the game uh, to its current state. Uh, also to iron out some smaller bugs. We also added lots of juicy sound effects. Yeah. We'll talk more about Gamescom uh, and the lessons we learned in uh, a coming video in a few weeks. Yeah, yeah. So in regards to what's happening in the game, as we mentioned before, you still gain experience points from killing enemies, which you can now use to upgrade your ship in between levels. The upgrades you get to pick are randomized, so each playthrough will hopefully be quite different as you get different upgrades each time and so you'll have to adapt your strategy mm -hmm. based on what modules you find and what uh, other like parts and what weapons you have if you want to pick different upgrades. We also did a visual overhaul for the main capsule. The default weapon uh, is now more of a beam. It's satisfying to use but it's kind of crap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <but laughs> Which that is makes, nice. <laughs> yeah, that makes you want to replace it with something better uh, as soon as you can. Uh, we also added ammo types. This will force you to use different weapons as you run out of ammo. Uh, we think it adds a nice dynamic to the game. Currently the ammo types are energy, rockets and bullets. We also added some new space enemies. Uh, so now there's six in total. Yeah. Uh, it's a good start, but we need plenty more. Yes. So that brings us over to what's next for the game. We will spend the coming weeks doing working on some of the major systems like the physics engine and the audio and other performance uh, based stuff that won't look as nice in videos. And after that we get to the most exciting part which is starting to actually add more enemies, more planets, more uh, ship parts and all of that good stuff so you, we can actually build bigger levels. Finally we want to invite you to our new Discord server. Yes. Uh, there you can find the most recent build, uh, free to play of course. You can also chat with us and tell us what you want to see in the game. We yeah. value all, all and any and all feedback. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Have a good one and bye bye. Bye bye.